Good morning and welcome to morning meditation. We're in Philippians chapter 3. Finally, my brethren, rejoice in the Lord to write the same thing to you. To me, indeed, is not grievous, but for you it is safe. Beware of dogs, beware of evil workers, beware of concision, for we are the circumcision which worship God in spirit and rejoice in Christ Jesus and have no confidence in the flesh. A lot said there and a lot for us to uh, define and dissect and to help us in our Christian life. Um, basically, the Apostle Paul, uh, as the Lord Jesus Christ did, said uh, grievous wolves are going to come in and uh, false doctrine. And boy, there is just a ton of false doctrine today. Uh, I believe there's a lot of false doctrine today uh, because people... Uh, simply don't study the Word of God the way they should. The Bible says, study to show yourself approved unto God. Matthew 24 talks about there was false prophets even among the people. Uh, and so if they were false prophets among the uh, early Christians, they're obviously going to be false prophets today. And uh, it talks about in Second Peter that they bring in uh, damnable heresies, even denying the Lord that brought, bought them. Um, but Paul, through the Holy Spirit, describes these people as uh, dogs. Now, to us, a dog is a wonderful little pet that you put a sweater on, sits on your couch, and uh, keeps you company. But in those days, dogs were scavengers. Uh, people that... Uh, uh, anything outside the city uh, would get attacked by packs of wild roving dogs. Uh, Satan is a roaring lion. And so we need to be careful, and especially uh, the Holy Spirit through Paul is using some descriptive terms. Uh, and I want to hit just one area, the preachers of legalism. Uh, people today will redefine legalism as biblical holiness. No, biblical holiness has always been a subject through the Bible. Uh, you go back to the Old Testament, uh, Jesus spent a lot of time describing the way priests should act, how priests should dress, what priests should do, what they shouldn't do. That's not legalism. Uh, he was defining what the priest should do. Well, who is the priest in the New Testament? That's pretty simple. There's uh, two or three passages that say we're a royal priesthood, we're the priesthood of the believer, and so we don't practice the actual um, practices of the priest, but that doesn't make the principle any less applicable, meaning uh, legalism is not teaching old-fashioned holiness. In fact, legalism is adding works to salvation, before salvation, or after salvation. False teachers. And in fact, that was what was happening in this church. There were Jews coming in saying, okay, you accept Christ, but you've got to keep the Ten Commandments, but you've got to be circumcised, but you've got to do this. And today we have uh, preachers and teachers all over America telling people, uh, you've got to get saved, but you've got to be baptized, but you've got to live this way, but, but, and uh, God doesn't like those old belly goats. Let's stick with the basics of the gospel. Not only does Paul address the preachers of legalism, but the perils of legalism. That's the living of the flesh. Galatians said, hey, if you got saved by the Spirit, we should have no confidence in the flesh. And uh, people seem to think over and over again, they're going to be able to do something to earn God's favor. No, God bestows his favor on us because of his grace, because of his love, because of his mercy. And boy, aren't you glad that he does that today. What's the product of legalism? Uh, the product of legalism, if people uh, add something before salvation or after salvation in order to be saved is a false doctrine, and that's exactly what Paul was addressing. And we need to address false doctrines. Uh, how do you address false doctrines? Well, how do you know you got counterfeit money? You handle real money enough, you'll be able to spot it and identify counterfeit immediately. You handle the Word of God through the power of the Holy Spirit, you'll be able to identify 
counterfeits immediately. Christian, don't get caught up in counterfeit Christianity. Make sure it lines up with the pure, unadulterated Word of God. God bless you and have a wonderful day.